the strongest phantom troop now this is going to be a ranking video i hesitated making a video like this because i really want to make individual videos about the phantom troop members before i actually rank them in power and straight to my humble opinion and you guys have to know this is an opinion based video so whatever i say is definitely not facts you guys could have a completely different list and you guys can have a maybe a better list who knows but this is my personal list from watching this series multiple times reading the manga this is my personal list how i rank the phantom troop now some of these we might be able angry about but i think most of these i feel like there's some logic towards them i'm gonna give reasons why i rank them at this level but right now this is my strongest phantom troop members so let's get to it now the phantom troop is a very how to say this unique group we know the original phantom troop members are from meteor city and actually most of the members are actually from this uh how to say this unique city meteor city pretty much the nobody city is definitely gonna be something huge when it comes to the future about this city now they're the most famous group in hunter hunter when it comes to the anime community but the zodiacs yeah the zodiacs sometimes people discuss the zodiacs and they're interesting but i feel like they need to get more how to say this shine probably in the future they will get definitely more shine but still i will not be discussing hisoka in his power ranking because i believe that hisoka he kind of stated that he was a fake member i'm going to discuss members that were a part of them real life and that have passed away too but i think hisoka actually like is stating him and being a fake member and then crow talking to him i feel like i just i'll leave hisoka out there because even if i put hisoka in this list it's even cause a uh, how to say this even more stir and anger because y'all know hisoka is uh, there's a huge topic with hisoka and where i rank in the phantom troop so i'll leave him out this video number 13 the weakest member i believe is cortopi and you probably think why am i picking on cortopi just because he's the smallest member in the in the whole group yeah, even smaller than kaluto as people say in his stature the reason why i'm picking on cortopi yes he does the copying replica uh gallery fake a really unique net and it's very useful like when it comes to the most useful fantasy members you definitely have to put him up there when it comes to the top useful members because he was very clutch in the actual york new arc but he doesn't really seem like a fighter type now in the manga they kind of eluded that he was how to say this not no joke and we've seen moments where he actually challenged phaeton and finks so definitely there's been multiple hints showcase that he might have some striking power and he's confident in his ability as a fighter now do i think he's in i think he's impressive but right now i think it's safe to say without reaching that he probably is the weakest though we never know because we never really got a lot of cortopi's physical combat ability next number 12 i'm going to put kaluto zoldik yes killer was younger brother now a lot of people discuss is she a female is he a female or a male like it's a he she like honestly i just call kaluto zoldik a male because that's what they stated in the series but the way she's dressed she you could say is a she i don't really care what you guys say but we definitely know that her uh, ability she's a kind of a young and a, i call her a rookie uh she uses those paper attacks uh dancing serpent bite was a de devastating attack she used in the chimera antark defeating that chimera and she has a lot of crazy stuff when it comes to paper abilities now do i think she, i think she's gonna rise up since she's so young i think once she gets further into the series she's gonna be a monster maybe at the end of the story she'll be a monster he's gonna be a monster but right now kalata zoldik she he was so surprised yes he was so surprised of the ability of the phantom troop and how they were acting i kind of see him as a safe spot to put him at the one of the weaker levels now people might say what about kortopi kortopi should be stronger than kalato i think kalato the way that he showcased that physical combat ability i feel like it's safe to put him at number 12. number 11 pakunoda and you're probably like whoa whoa, whoa pakunoda what does she showcase in any physical combat ability well i'll say this right now i think she's downplayed a lot because of her death in the actual anime but she definitely has shown fighting power situations when she's going up against uh characters like where she had this hair and match to stop going from running away uh we know the killer what gave her her a nasty attack uh definitely she's tanking and she seems to be durable and she definitely with her gun ability and the memories and reading her thoughts there's definitely more to her how to say this net ability that we haven't seen when it comes to combat we know her and machi and then cortopi were going to fight finks and phaeton i mentioned that when it comes to cortopi but one of the biggest things why i put her up here is physically the arm wrestling situation she definitely wasn't weak when it comes to arm wrestling so definitely an original member of the phantom troop she's been there for so long we know her her she's there mostly for her net ability being so useful 
useful like Cortopi. But I think putting her above Kalito, do I think Kalito, Cortopi, and Pakunoda are around the same level when it comes to physical combat ability? I think it's safe to say that she might be 12 in my opinion. Number 11, I'm putting Shizuku. Uh, let's be honest here, that vacuum ability is hacked. Yeah, it's definitely very hacked. We saw it, Blinky, sucking everything, even blood. When you can suck blood of your opponent, you definitely know that your Nen ability is legit. Now, she is one of the newest members, uh, so definitely she's new there. She's kind of like the same situation as Kalito, but Kalito is the newest one now, so she's in the new rookie. But definitely, I want to say that Shizuku definitely seems very, uh, how to say this, unique. Now, arm wrestling, when it comes to physical, she was one of the weaker ones. I believe she was might have been the weakest. I'm not sure. Maybe Kortobi was. But definitely want to say this. Her fight in the Khmer Antark, showcasing that physical combat ability when it comes to her Nen, Blinky, uh, that's very savage. And I think Shizuku over here is safe to say that I'm putting here her over here. Number 10, I'm putting Shalnark. Yes, Shalnark, he's a, the genius type, very intelligent as a character. We know his ability has to do when it comes to autopilot, the remote, uh, controlling other human beings, which is very neat. But he also can put on himself. And I'll tell you right now, the whole situation in the manga, I'm not going to spoil anime oldies, but yeah, Shalnark did have a, how do I say, it's a slip up in the manga. You guys all know manga readers know what I'm talking about. But still, in the Khmer Antar, Tark going super sane was kind of badass and showcases his crazy ability that he has. Now I kind of feel like he needs setup more sometimes. And like if he is he if he's fighting a character who's very well uh, versed in Nen, I think that might be a problem for Shalnark. But I think number ten putting him here is a safe spot. Like I think he showcased uh, how does his remarkable ability. And just because he's also a very intelligent character, I think number ten is a safe spot for Shalnark. Number nine Bono Levy. Yes, this character. Let's be honest. I'll I'll, I'll be honest with you right now. Like. Like, I kind of forgot about this character when I was first watching the series until the Chimera Antark when he came back with the Phantom Troop because he was so quiet and so underrated like he really didn't really showcase a personality that's really big and up there but he, he kind of reminds me of the you know, you know the Naruto series Kekai Genkai's where you have like a special ability for your tribe your clan uh, he has a special ability when it comes to using his body as a weapon when it comes to the music ability and I definitely think he's one of the most underrated characters not just in the Phantom Troop but in the actual series when he brought out Jupiter, we know he's a conjurer, and he conjured that planet size. Oh my gosh, attack! Uh, definitely had me shook. Bono Levy is someone that he's very confident in his ability as he was arguing with Finks to see who can fight the queen next after Phaeton was struggling a little bit. That just showcased that he even thinks he's confident enough to be stronger than Phaeton. So, his confidence is something that I really respect. So, Bono Levy, I put him at number nine here. That's just my spot for him number eight i believe that this is the strongest female in the phantom true machi machi is someone who definitely got a lot of attention early on when it comes to hisoka and that relationship over there uh we know physically she's the strongest woman in the phantom troop when it comes to arm wrestling and togashi has let her live like she was supposed to pass away but togashi has let her live and right now i gotta say this right now i think it's safe to say she's mid-tier phantom troop now we know the epic moments where killer would try to get to uh take her out but her abs pretty much stopped his hand uh, she's physically showcasing many abilities plus her nen ability the stitching uh definitely want to say that uh she is a potential monster she might have an even more sh shocking power because we know that she was left out the chimera ant arc so she might even have a more shocking power that's gonna be badass i do want to say this uh when it comes to uh ability i think machi has one of the most unique abilities so definitely want to say she is in my opinion a mid-tier phantom true member i respect her I kind of messed up the numbers, so yeah, definitely want to refix the numbers how I said it because I messed it up a little bit. But if you guys are following this video, Cal, I had Cartopia at 13, Kalato at 12, Pakunoda at 11, Shizuku at 10, Shalnark at 9, Bonoleve at 8, and Machi at 7. I kind of messed up a little bit, but now I'm going to number 6. I'm talking about Franklin. Yes, Franklin, he's up there in physical power. I believe he was like top 4 in physical power when it comes to arm wrestling, so definitely he seems like a beast like that when it comes to his stature and his leadership skills. Him being a, how to say is a very good leader telling everyone like how the work when it comes to the phantom troop because Krolo got captured and i think that the, he's also another character who got saved from the Khmer antarch just like machi nobunaga another character these characters i think that they, they're being saved to showcase their full capabilities in another battle some people are saying hisoka and franklin might go at it we know he has an amazing nan ability he cut his fingers off double machine gun i think franklin uh definitely want to say he's someone who i respect and like early on this 
this year, if you saw him and Nobunoka going at it, clashing, I think he is someone who's legit. Number six, safe spot right here. Number five, yes, number five, I have Nobunaga. And Nobunaga sometimes gets disrespected because we know his N, his N I believe, it was very low compared to characters like Zeno, uh, P2, definitely. But definitely, I think that his ability as a swordsmanship scares me. Now, physically, he was around, I think, mid-tier, mid to low tier when it comes to his physical power. But he's also an enhancer. And we know that in, as an enhancer, he probably has devastating cuts, as we saw when it comes to that dog character in the actual York New Arc who got his head head cut off that was a very sad death i will admit that but yeah i think that he probably has crazy dc power uh i want to say this that he could have a potential future battle against hisoka uh we know he wanted to fight hisoka early on because of uvogan no lies there and we know he was gonna fight a fate and him went at it for a bit and shalnar kind of stated that his his nen uh is not that unique so he's replaceable so definitely want to know what his actual nen is because we've never seen nobunaga's nen though we do know him and Yvogan were kind of monsters when it comes to fighting so I think that this guy is someone who I'm expecting some hype stuff left out the Khmer Antark I think Nobunaga is legit number four I have his fellow partner Yvogan and Yvogan was taken out early by Kurapika in his hack stability Emperor's time but I want to say this he's the strongest physical member of the Phantom Troop we saw him destroy the Shadow Beast eating their freaking brains their heads out it was definitely a devastating moment and in the Kurapika fight he showcased amazing power and I remember when he got captured by Kurapika initially Finks when he Finks talked to Evogen he's like I can't believe you actually got captured it's funny because Finks is also a physical monster beast when it comes to the arm wrestling competitions so definitely see that respect there and we know Big Bang Impact Big Bang Impact is a devastating net ability that he has so definitely want to say when it comes to raw physical power he's number one but right now I'm putting him as number four Four, I believe at number four as a fighter number three I have the second physical strongest member is Sphinx and he actually was showcased and highlighted in the Chimera Ant arc uh, whenever we see him he's kind of matched up with Phaeton as competition to get who's to get more kills so that's why we always see that Sphinx and Phaeton is a very tough one to discuss when it comes to who's stronger but we know in the Chimera Ant arc he had that crazy ability Ripper Cyclone Tron where he just destroyed that Chimera Ant the Gorilla Chimera Ant in like one second and then he really wanted to fight the Queen after Phaeton was struggling so he's confident in his ability just like I mentioned Bono Levy was confident in his ability now we also know moments where how to say this he gets disrespected he's not an original member so that's very unique that we don't know a lot of his past but definitely being the physical second physical strongest in the actual Phantom Troop plus he has a very unique Nan ability I want to say the fact that he's com competing with Faith in a lot of the times I think number three is a safe spot for Finks number two I have Phaeton yes Phaeton is a fan favorite character and Putting at number two, we also know that he was the interim leader of the Phantom Troop because he won the competition against the fellow Phantom Troop members in the Chimera Ant arc. Though we do know some of the other Phantom Troop members didn't participate, Franklin, Nobunaga, Machi. But still, I want to say this, his power, his speed is where it really gets me hyped. And when he goes ham, yo, it's definitely a devastating hacks to power, rising sun, pain packer, yo. I definitely want to say the queen, the ant queen was very underestimated. She was a monster when it comes to her strength. But Phaeton destroyed her and I want to say this the more pain he takes the more devastating his power is so I definitely want to say that his net ability is something that's very hacked and Phaeton at number two is a safe spot a lot of people have been foreshadowing a Hisoka versus Phaeton battle and that's the biggest like when it comes to argument who's stronger Hisoka or Phaeton I think most people are saying Hisoka now after the situation in the manga but Phaeton a lot of people still argue Phaeton is stronger so definitely is a cool cool argument but I left Hisoka out this comment uh, this ranking I put Phaeton number two uh, definitely want to say it's a safe spot and I think Phaeton is respectable in his power number one I have Krolo yes yeah, you're probably thinking whoa what a shocker he's actually the leader of the Phantom Troop we know that Hisoka really wanted to fight him because Hisoka likes fighting strong characters and he knew that Krolo was the strongest of the Phantom Troop we know he has battled Silva in the past before we know he battled Silva and Zeno in the actual York New Arc and I want to say this Bandit Secret Skill Hunter stealing of people's ability and the fact that he 
fights differently when trying to steal your ability than when trying to kill you he's someone that we need to see more of and when we do see him he he looks like he's not even trying a lot of the time so definitely want to say that Crollo is a beast a monster and it's nothing there's nothing really more to say to justify me putting him in the number one phantom true spot he's the actual leader he's the one who started this so definitely want to say physically you know arm wrestling he was like mid-tier with Crollo. i think is the strongest phantom true member and that's that we know the data books actually hides him up too but tell me your thoughts in the comment section who do you think is the strongest phantom troop member and how do you rank the phantom troop i know it's a very tough discussion it's been done many times and i don't really like doing these kind of videos when it comes to little evidence but i thought i'd do my humble personal opinion when it comes to my ranking and hear what you guys have to say like and share if you enjoy like and share only if you enjoy and subscribe for more hunter hunter content i'm nen mac and i'm gone